find how many three digit numbers are divisible by 7 okay what seems relevant to me here is okay the fact that they need to be three digit numbers and the fact that they have to be divisible by 7 now the way i may start thinking about it is let me first look at all the numbers that are divisible by 7 they are, let's say i start at 7 seven's obviously divisible by 7 and then there's 14 There's twenty one. I'm basically just going through with the seven tables, twenty eight, and eventually I know that I'll reach a point somewhere. This this sequence will cross hundred, and I'll reach uh, this place where I get my first three digit number, and then I'll keep going. The sequence will keep going. It, it goes forever, but definitely at some point it will reach um, the last three digit number, and then it'll start becoming four digit numbers after that, and it'll continue on. It it, it doesn't care. It just keeps going. Now what I can see is that this question wants me to find these numbers starting the first three three digit number and the last three digit number and then all the numbers including uh these two how many are there is what the question is asking me Now how can I approach this One way seems to be let me see if there's a pattern over here what I can see is that uh each of these numbers all the numbers that are divisible by 7 are actually differing by 7 which makes sense to me because that's how i define divisibility i started a multiple of 7 i keep adding 7 i'll keep hitting multiples of 7 in other words all these numbers will be divisible by 7 right and so i keep i started 7 in fact actually i'm starting at 0 0 is divisible by 7 so uh, i'm starting at 0 and then jumping steps of 7 all the way at some point i'll reach my first three digit number and then at some point i'll reach my last three digit three digit number if i have these two numbers then i know that i can find how many are in between them because i know that between them you're only jumping steps of 7 so all i'll have to count after that is how many steps of 7 are between these two numbers and i'm done am i making sense so find the first find the last then you can find how many steps of 7 are there between these two numbers you actually have every all the pieces of information you need to solve this problem So go ahead and find these two and let's do this together after that. Now if you are done I'm going to try and guess what the first three di- three digit number is. And the way I I think of doing it is I know 70 is two digits and then I know that after that 105 like 35 more if I add 105 is the first one because before that it's 98. So I can just just by trying it out I know that in this case 105 is my first three digit number. I think this is the way to do it. I don't know if there's any proper way. You just f- go near hundred and then see what's closest to it. Um, over here, uh, I have to look at thousand because thousand is my first four-digit number. I have to see something before that. The way I want to do it is maybe go to seven hundred, uh, and then I know twenty-eight goes, so two eighty will go. So seven hundred plus two eighty—that's nine eighty. So I've come close. Nine eighty plus seven is nine eighty-seven. Uh, that's another seven will be nine ninety-four. Uh, after that will be thousand one. So nine ninety four is my last uh, three digit number. Now I'm gonna get these two. Now all I have to do is uh, find this space between them. There is a space between them that I can find just by subtracting these two numbers, which I'm gonna do right now. So nine ninety four minus hundred and five. Nine ninety four minus hundred is eight ninety four. That's right, eight ninety four minus five is eight eighty nine. Eight ninety four minus five. It's eight eighty nine. Yes, I, that's correct. So now uh, I know this gap. I know that I'm jumping steps of seven. So basically, this this is like asking me how many lines of length seven are there in a length of eight eighty nine. There are some lengths of seven, some lines, line segments rather of length seven. How many are they? How can you find out? This is what we invented division for, right? To solve a problem like this, I'll just divide. So I can just do. Eight eighty nine divided by seven divided by seven, and that'll give me what I want, which is the number of such lines that are there of length seven in a length of eight hundred and eighty nine. And I'm sure this will go because I know that this is made up of just uh, lines of seven, right? I jumped seven all the time. This gap has to be a multiple of seven, so this will definitely give me a whole number. So seven eight eighty nine divided by seven. How will I do this? I'll say in eight it goes once, and then I'll have a one left, and then in eighteen it'll go twice, 
Uh, then I'll have four left and 49, it'll go seven times. And I'm almost done here. Uh, if I stop here, I've made one small mistake. It's an off by one error. What mistake I've made is that I've found the number of such lines. There are 127 such lines here. But uh, the question's asking me how many three-digit numbers. That includes also this first term. Because if I just count 127, that'll be one, two, three, all these pieces, all the way up to the last piece, 127 pieces, rather 127 numbers that are divisible by seven. But we wouldn't have counted the first one. So we have to add one, so that we also count 105. That gives us a grand total of 128 numbers that are divisible by three, sorry, divisible by seven, but have three digits in them. Now, this is in the chapter called uh, arithmetic progression. So you may be wondering why Actually, if you notice, what we've done here is an arithmetic progression-like problem, but we just didn't use the standard terms that people use with it. So I also want to show that if you're comfortable with those, then we can, we can actually write it in that format. That way of doing the problem is, is very similar. What you will do is, you will say that, oh, all numbers differ, or there's a difference between them, that's 7 and that's constant. So this is an arithmetic sequence or an arithmetic progression. And then you'll say that the first term that I care about, the uh, actual first term can be anywhere, you start over here. Because the question asks you to only focus on three digit numbers. And then you will say, my first digit, my first number that I care about in the sequence is 105. So that's my first term. My common difference, D equals 7, because we're dealing with the divisibility of 7, divisibility by 7. And then you say my last term that I care about, because after that, it's all four digits, is my 994. Uh, what I want to find is my n equal to how much. And when you do it this way, you can write, you can use the relation that you may already know, a plus n minus one times d equals my last term, or nth term rather. n minus one d will give me my nth term. Uh, and if you do this, you will get the exact same answer. You will do 105 plus n minus 1 into 7 equals 994. That is one equation with just one unknown. You can go ahead and solve it and you will get n equals this minus this, 994 minus 105, which is 889, which is kind of what we got over here. That's the gap basically you're finding. And then you will divide that by 7. When you're doing this, you will be finding how many lines of seven, size seven are there in this gap. And to include the first digit, you'll be adding a plus one because it's n minus one here. It's one, and you will get, without a doubt, 128. Now, this is not just the way to solve this question. There are many questions you get like this. Find the number of four digit numbers uh, that are divisible by something else or find the number of digits a number of the numbers that are divisible by four that lie between some two numbers so you'll always be given a starting point and an ending point and some jump size and that's all you have to find once you know a starting point the ending point and the jump size you can always find the number of terms so in this case the starting point is 105 the ending point is 994 and the jump size given is plus seven that's all actually matters after that it becomes an arithmetic progression problem